Hey, welcome back to Built Fixed. I don't normally do episodes with car repair stuff, but there's nothing I hate worse than being ripped off at the dealership for repair. This key fob had stopped working, and I had a quote of, it was probably about 600, 600 US dollars to have it replaced with a new one. I thought, you know what, that's kind of silly. I'll try my luck at fixing it myself. So here are the basic steps to, first of all, take apart your three-button key fob from VW or Audi. Press a small detent right here on the side. After it's pressed, you're able to slide out the key. Now firmly grab the key fob and you want to slide this metal bezel to the side. It goes, it slides towards the button and then pops off. Now you can pry back this cover here. Now I've done the hard work already and cut this free. The trick is not to cut right on the edge, but the trick is just to cut this yellowish plastic and cut the yellow tab right off on this side and on this side. After doing so, you'll be able to pry this open, like so. Pop out the battery here first. And now your circuit board will just fall right out. And then you have access to your key, uh, to your key circuit board. And this one here I've already fixed, but I'll show you later in the video how I fixed it. I did this from the start because the first button at the top here, the lock button, uh, wasn't working. And I can see now that it's apart. The reason was this little button had, uh, had popped off the circuit board. So I went online and I found, I think it's a hundred buttons here for maybe two or three dollars and bought them and we'll attempt now to solder one on. Well, that's a good start. It clicks again. Let's put the battery in and see what happens. 
Hey, red light, it works. So to reassemble, just go in reverse. We have a cover on and snap down. Now the key can go back in. I'm sorry, uh, the metal cover goes back on again. And it slides over like so. And then the key can drop inside. Good luck on your project.